Hi SEO friends, this is Derek Rogers with Arneon Media, and I'm taking a look at Cora Light software, the lighter version of Cora, which is a software produced by SEO Tool Labs and Ted Kabaitis, uh, designed for SEOs and people looking to rank their websites um, to help them find correlations between their top competitors on page and make adjustments to their site accordingly so that they can rank well in competition to their competitors. Cora Light on the other hand is a much lighter version, leaner version of Cora um, with half the price tag, uh, doesn't quite look at as many uh, factors and it is faster to use. So if you want to see the full interview with Ted Kabaitis, um, it was over an hour long and I've got it linked here. You'll see the little pop-up show up on the video here. Um, you can go to that. Um, it's also on the Arneon Media YouTube account, which this video is on as well. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to smash that like button. No, you don't have to smash it. You could just tap it lightly, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Thank you. Let's get back into it. So without further ado, let's get into this quick 10-minute review of Cora Light. So what is Cora? Cora is desktop software for Macs and PCs. It measures SEO factors for your URLs and keywords. And it tells you exactly how much of each factor you need to be competitive with your higher ranking competitors. And Cora uses advanced math to identify which factors appear to influence rankings the most. It actively adapts to Google updates. So when Google uh, releases an update to their search algorithms, the very next report you run in Cora is going to give you clues about how their preferences for what ranks well have changed. So we have two products. We have Cora Light and Cora. And Cora has been around for a couple of years now, and it's our expert level flagship product. So there's a lot of reasons why Cora is just kind of uh, very well respected with very technical and top SEOs. Uh, what we wanted to do with Cora Light is open it up to a broader audience. So we wanted to make it easier to use, faster, cheaper, less intimidating, you know, easier to master. And we we feel we've knocked it out of the park with this product, and we think you're going to like it a lot. Uh, some of the key differences. Uh, the, the full version of Cora has up to 2,040 factors. With Cora Light, uh, we wanted it to be about getting quick wins. So it's largely focused on on-page SEOs. We got rid of a lot of the uh, overly academic and the research factors. It's on-page only. Uh, there's none of the APIs. Uh, Cora Light has HTML reports. And the great thing about the HTML reports is they look cleaner. Uh, there's inline documentation, so it's easier to learn from them. Uh, they're more self-explanatory and they're brandable. You can put in your logos, your marketing message, so that if you choose to publish them, email them, print them out, take them in hand to a client, uh, you're ready to go. This is the stuff I like. Yeah, yeah. This this is the user interface for Cora Light. And if you're familiar with Cora, then this is going to look awfully familiar to you. So uh, it, it won't feel very different. What you do is you pick a mode. I'm going to put it into track domain. So I want what this means is I want recommendations for a single website. And I'm going to use the desktop index in Google. Not going to specify a country, but I could. But I'm going to leave it no country for now. We could localize to a city and state or a city within a different country. So if I selected Germany, I could type in Berlin here to localize. Uh, we could specify our language. And then ultimately the search terms. So I'll put in uh, DUI lawyer Los Angeles, because that's one of my calibration keywords. I know it inside and out. So we ran our keyword search 
and uh, we got a snapshot of what URLs were in the results. And by default, it marks everything on page one as competitors. But if we didn't like things like Yelp, we could uncheck Yelp and we could add this one in. We could have more than 10. We could have less than 10. The thing about selecting your competitors, it lets us know which websites you want the tuning recommendations to be based on. Um, so you pick your competitors, and then you uh, pick in this column that says track, we're going to pick the website we want recommendations for. So I am just going to pick this one here. So this is the website we're trying to rank and we want tuning advice for. And so once we're all set up, all we do is hit this get data button. We put the strongest factors at the top, the factors that appear to influence rankings the most. And as you go down the list, they'll get incrementally weaker and weaker. And that can help you prioritize which ones you wanna address first. And uh, you can turn the uh, completion sound off if you don't like it. Uh, I tend to leave it <laughs> Reminds me yeah. of uh, Samsung laundry machines. <laughs> yeah. And let me open that folder. And here's our report, 733, created today. Now, the uh, software, when it's done, will show you the report uh, in the software. I recommend you just open up the HTML file in a browser. Uh, it's a lot easier to use and you can scale it and do things of that nature. Uh, all of this at the top, this is the default branding. In the software, you can configure that uh, in the setting and it'll let you edit this. This is just HTML. You can put in your own logos and images, uh, your own text, your own links, your own embedded videos. Uh, in this report, you get the roadmap at the top. And on the side here, we have inline documentation that walks you through how to use the report and what everything means. So in this report, you might see uh, variations in value attributes. So you might say, well, what are variation? And over here on the side, we, we have that documented. Variations are the words that Google makes bold in the desktop search result. Uh, we measure them because they help make your page relevant for the target search term. And down below, we list what all those variations are. So lawyers 10, DUI attorney 10, Los Angeles 10. Uh, what those numbers are next to it, that's how many of the competitors you've chosen are using that variation. So you can see which variations are used by all of your competitors and which variations are only used by a few. Um, and then anywhere you see variations over here, we're talking about any combination of those words. So if you have to add 256 more variations in div tags, you can mix it up. You can make it look more natural or entities. We are very fond of entities these days. They're a new powerhouse in SEO, and you might not what, know what they are. And so we define that. There's inline documentation. Entities are nouns that Google's AI likely understand. And up here in the report, it says to be above average, let's add 121 more. But to take the lead, add 576 more. And that sounds like a lot, and it is a lot, but we're talking about entities. Now, why do we have these two columns to be above average and to take the lead? Well, if you're just trying to get onto page one, you don't need to do the crazy amount of tuning that you need to do to get to the top of page one. If you're on page one, if you're number six, but you want to be number two, you probably want to start taking the lead. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that when you see uh, variations and uh, H1 tags as a factor, by fixing that one, you're fixing this one at the same time. You don't fix them separately by fixing one factor. Right. You're often fixing a dozen Multiple or more at the same time. 
So as I fix H2 tags, I'm also fixing this H1, H2, and H3. I'm also fixing, you know, the number of keywords and HTML tags. That'll happen at the same time too, because these will be inside the HTML tag. And if those headings are in a div, it'll also fix the variations in div tags at the same time. And then recently we added a little keyword density block. So we know that the page we're trying to rank has a variation density of 6%. And so that's the keyword density of all of our variations. And we know that the average on page one is about 6.4%. So we're a tad under, I would want to be a tad over. Uh, we know in testing that keyword density is a powerful factor. Uh, below the density, uh, we have the competitive comparison. Uh, this is where all of your uh, measurement data resides. So if you want to look at the measurement data, it's here. And this will allow you to explore outliers. Uh, you see up here, we have the result number in Google. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can click those to visit those search result pages. Uh, our result page is clickable here in the headings. And then uh, the search results snapshot below uh, contains a snapshot of what the search results were like at the time the report was written. So I can see at a glance, oh, there's a lot of EMDs and you know exact match domains and partial match domains. Uh, I can also see that there's a number of home pages ranking. There's a search page ranking. There's a number of uh, nested uh, category pages. And then of course uh, you can customize the footer. I just put an image graphic at the bottom. Uh, but there's a whole another mode to this. And that's the all results mode. And it works exactly the same way you saw before, except you set this to all results. And what Ooh. this does okay. is when you run your report, it'll create a report for every URL in the top 100 results. It'll do all 100 reports in one go. But yeah, it, it runs a bit longer, but uh, it gives you a hundred reports at a time, which is awesome if you're doing outreach because you can have your marketing message in that report because of the uh, branding uh, you're putting in. You can say, hey, you know, we've we found that you have a lot of deficits. We would love to help you knock them out so that you can rank better faster. Give us a call, let us know. So Cora Light is half the cost of uh, full Cora. So Cora Light is 125 a month and using this coupon code will save you another 10% on top of that every month. So the savings continue. Yeah, all you need to do is use this coupon code at checkout. So just go to seotoollab.com, find the, the Cora Light page, uh, go to checkout, it'll take you to Thrivecart. If you enter in this coupon code, it gives you the discount. And uh, that also uh, helps support uh, this community. So I highly recommend you do it because this is an awesome community.